Now, the CDC guidelines recommend celebrating Thanksgiving either virtually or only with people in your own household. Now, if you are gathering, you should wear a mask, practice social distancing, and wash your hands frequently. Outdoor gatherings are suggested, but if you're going to be indoors, experts say keep windows open, make sure the air filters are clean, and consider investing in air purifiers. And with all these guidelines, of course, it's easy to say this Thanksgiving is going to be unlike any other. In fact, quite different if you do follow these guidelines. And Way 31's Max Cohan now joins us live in downtown Huntsville after talking with people about how their plans have changed. Max. The CDC reports that more than 1 million coronavirus cases have been reported in the United States in the last seven days. And now they're recommending people postpone holiday travel, a disappointment for some who say Thanksgiving is all about family. Thanksgiving, when you think about Thanksgiving, it's like thinking about family. And when you think about family, you know, you think about Thanksgiving, and it's, it's, it's hand in hand. This Thursday, families across the country will gather, either virtually or in a limited capacity, to celebrate Thanksgiving. As coronavirus cases continue to surge around the nation, people seem to be heeding the warnings and limiting their gatherings. Matthew Darnell said Sunday that his Thanksgiving crowd this year will be down to fewer than 10. In years past, it was closer to 40. We're really not going to have anybody there. It's going to be... Uh, just super immediate family and, you know, probably like eight people. That's it. Other people I caught up with at Big Spring Park echoed the same message. We have a big family. A normal gathering would consist probably of 50 people gathering, so we, we won't be doing nothing like that this year. Lyle said his family had not planned to travel this year, which makes things easier in his effort to keep his family safe. The American Automobile Association estimates a 10% drop in total Thanksgiving travel this year, projecting that air travel will be down nearly 50% from 2019, with car travel also dropping, though only about 4%. We were going to Georgia, but now we're staying at home. Kennedy says her family had planned to drive to the Peach State to celebrate the holiday. Her mother adding that they had planned to join a group of about 15 to 20 others, but made the decision Friday to stay home and spend it with immediate family. Because all the, all the cases for corona is going up. Now, while many of those I spoke to today were a little bit bummed that they won't get to spend the holiday with their normal group, they said they are looking forward to being able to do that in the future. And in the meantime, they're grateful for what they've been able to have in years past. Reporting live in Huntsville. Max Cohan, Way 31 News.